are untouchable. We are unstoppable. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. And I apologize if I'm not my usual happy-go-lucky self who's excited to talk about figures and New Dawn and the pick fed and uh, WWE and wrestling and all that good stuff. If you saw my Instagram story that I posted last night as of filming, you'll know what this is about. As you can see on your screen right now, my WWE figure arena has been destroyed. And I will get into the full in-depth story on that. It's absolutely crazy. I I can't make this shit up. It's just, it's crazy. But yeah, my arena has been destroyed literally in the middle of New Dawn filming. I'll get like more in depth onto it in a second here. But yeah, it just really sucks. So we're getting into that. What all happened here, why this is such a thing, and what's going to happen with New Dawn and my arena now. So without any further ado, I guess we'll get right into things. So let's have a little story time. And to visualize it, I'll take you guys off of the tripod here here you can see the arena setup we got that big beautiful table so last night it's around you know 11 30 p.m i filmed i took like 50 pictures for the pick bed really hell excited about how the match is going it's just, it's just a normal night i'm chilling in my bedroom for those of you who don't know my wrestling room too well my wrestling room and then there's my bedroom right here this is kind of like built above my garage and i'm chilling in there i'm laying on my bed which faces this doorway the lights are on in here and you know, I'm talking to my girlfriend on Skype because you know, we're long distance and that's how it works. And I come in here to turn the lights off in order to, you know, go to bed. I gotta get up for work at like seven in the morning the next day. And I look in here and right by the doorway, I see something fly by and then I see it fly by again and again and again. So I come in here and there is literally a bat flying all around the perimeter of the room over and over just doing laps around the room and i live in the country so you know it's not uncommon for bats to really get into people's houses it's just kind of a thing that happens the way that it happened is my room up here is actually like on the upstairs level of my house this is not my basement i think that's probably what a lot of people think it is Whenever we moved in here, this actually used to be a workshop. This was hardwood floor and just a workshop for, you know, someone to work on things. But we turned it into this beautiful wrestling room and I eventually started making YouTube videos. You know, it's great. So this workshop is actually built right above my garage. And as you can see, that door has some stairs which lead down to my garage. And if we go over here, you can see that the crack under the door is just a little bit bigger than typical, just enough for a little bat to fly in. So my mom would have come home, opened the garage, pulled her car in, and at the same time that bat would have flown in, and then eventually he would have made his way up the stairwell here and crawled right under the door, I'm guessing right there where it's nice and thick. And then he came in here and obviously started losing his shit because it's bright in here, and you know, bats like the dark, that's where they live. So he started flying around, and at that point, I go downstairs, down to my house, I get my stepdad, my stepbrother, and my mom, and we come up here, the bat is nowhere to be found. Long behold, guess where it is? We hear some scratching because it is behind my crowd backdrops. For those of you who don't know, I have this crowd backdrop here and I had this one set up. This one sort of overlapped this one kind of like to right here. So there was two of them because I have a big arena set up and we could hear the scratching and there was literally no other way to get it than to remove this thing and of course, we're struggling around trying to grab it. Figures just got knocked over. Someone, I don't know who it is, I'm guessing probably my brother or my stepdad when they're trying to like get this bat, because obviously there's a bat in our house, we're freaking out, grabbed all the crowd right here, threw it into the middle of the ring. So all this crowd's messed up, all this crowd has been just thrown into the middle of the ring, all of this crowd has been knocked over whenever we tried to grab the thing, a bunch of the other just random crowd members are knocked over. It seems like literally the only person who is still in their place is actually Luke Harper right here because I was filming the six pack challenge. So literally this arena is just messed up right in the middle of New Dawn. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, just put it back together and keep filming. It's kind of hard when it's literally half of your setup. The stage is gone. Half of my crowd, well over half of my crowd is gone. All the figures minus one are out of their poses. It's just going to be a massive pain to get it back and find the motivation to keep filming. So what I have 
thought of for New Dawn is that I will make New Dawn a two-part pay-per-view. You see, there are five matches on the show. I was about two and a half, you know, two and a quarter way done. So I have two matches finished. I've got Seth Rollins, Canadian Championship, Open Challenge, and I have Undisputed Era versus the Young Bucks. So those matches are fully done. I just need to edit it, add commentary, add sound, and you know, maybe film a few things like in my backstage to put in between. But those are done. Those matches, you know, I can use them whenever I want. They're ready to go. I just need to finish the six pack challenge and then do the cruiserweight match and the world championship steel cage match. So what I could do is have the two matches that are done and the three matches that aren't done yet be in two separate pay-per-views and I guess now two separate arenas. And I'm saying two separate arenas because this is, I guess, also an excuse in order to, you know, beef up my arena. The stage for this show was actually like really, really small and I thought, you know, why not do something better? And then a few weeks later, what comes in the mail about these Raw and SmackDown stages? So I have these things to work with now. And also I did have the old crowd backdrops and Extreme Sets actually recently saw my video on the backstage arena setup as well as the Deranged Alley 2.0, I did reviews on those way back. And they saw my video and they DM'd me on Twitter and out of the blue, they sent me this, which is the Arena Crowd Pop-Up 2.0. So I now have one of these to work with. So we have a new crowd backdrop and two new stages, which I could, you know, maybe put some green screens on and do entrance videos, like have the Titan Trons, which I didn't have on the last one. It's an opportunity for me to add more stuff to the set, make the crowd bigger, and just make it feel even bigger for part two. So what I'm thinking is New Dawn is now going to be a two-part pay-per-view. I'll have to reassemble my arena and film those other matches, but for now I can literally just go you know take the pictures that I need for the little backstage in between parts between the two matches and then I can literally just start editing and probably get this thing up within the next week have part one go up and then I'll start building the new arena and then get on to part two so it will delay part two and you'll get a couple matches early in part one or I'll try and set this all back up and try and get everything in the perfect spot although it'll probably look like really jumpy at one point in the six-pack challenge and the pay-per-view is like 100% gonna be delayed because this is gonna take me a good couple hours to get all set back up and you know in the proper position exactly how it was before so what I think is going to happen is New Dawn is now going to be a two part pay-per-view part one being incredibly soon part two being a little bit delayed but I think it's just the best option we'll be able to do an insane arena setup for part two and it'll just look so much better well part one will kind of be like an introduction to New Dawn and an introduction or like a reintroduction to UWF so yeah this whole situation sucks but I'm just trying to look on the bright side of it as much as possible it's kind of funny how this is like my big return show and of course it's the one that has to get messed up. But you know, it's whatever. I think that's the best we're going to be able to do. So I think New Dawn is now going to be two parts and the second part is going to consist of a new arena, three matches. Part one will consist of the arena I had set up here and the first two matches that I finished filming. Plus maybe I'll be able to throw something extra in like backstage. So that's what I'm thinking. That's probably what's going to happen just to keep you guys updated and like go more in depth with this whole bat story that I posted on my Instagram story last night if you guys follow me over there which you should so that's pretty well gonna do it for the video once again I'll just show you guys again closer up just the state of the arena it's it's absolutely destroyed I don't think there's any real like reassembly here to make it look any good so I think yeah it's just the best option that we use this arena for part one with the matches that are already filmed and then I'll have to refilm the start of the six pack challenge which kind of sucks you know I was almost halfway through the match but you know what oh, it'll give me an opportunity to make the match even better than I had it before so that's what's going to happen look for nude on part one I guess in the coming weeks or something like that or probably within the next week and then part two will just be delayed yeah that, that's what's going to happen guys thanks for everyone who reached out about the whole bat thing I was really upset last night so thanks for like the five or six people that were messaging me, you know, checking up on me. It's it's really appreciated. Shout out to uh, my family for helping me get this bat out and my girlfriend for keeping my sanity. So that's pretty well what's going to happen with the arena and with New Dawn. So thank you guys for watching and supporting. I will see you all.